How's it going, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I thank you for coming in and checking out the video. Just wanted to talk about a couple builds that I do on the Wizard and the Enchantress class. Now, these builds are going to be viable for the majority of the game. Uh, just kind of want to help out new players. Keep in mind, this is my build into Chapter 4, going into the end game, late game content. Obviously, more options are going to open up a little bit more once you get into more post game. But this is for, you know, going through the early chapters, you know, going through the main story. And these are kind of the builds I've been running. So first off, there are a couple ways you can build the wizard that I do it personally. Now, I'm sure there's people that do different things, but I find these two different builds to be pretty useful. The first one is just kind of a generic wizard. You know, what you would expect. Now, you want to match your element with your spell. So I have, uh, you know, we got the air with the air going on here. And then I grabbed an earth and a fire AOE just to kind of round out my spells. So I have the option, you know, if you really play the weakness game and you want to capitalize on your enemy, having these will help you. And I chose the AOE ones because AOE is so powerful on a wizard. Once you get access to these spells, I recommend mostly having those because it's just so nice it's so nice and then dead shot just because single target it's a tier three and why not you know you never know there might just be only one unit and you want to do more damage now you don't need cokes that's just because i was trying to recruit lizard people or hoping to find some but you know meditate something you're going to have now you're not going to have conserve rt and engulf off the bat so what you're probably going to do is you're probably going to put on like insight and then um concentration or don't be silly like me and give your wizard a finisher. So, I mean, you know, whatever you prefer here, cudgels or daggers, you know, whatever whatever you like. I was silly and I uh, took away the power of the, of the wizard, which I should just give him a cudgel and let him build that up more. He had it going. So, yeah, you got your weapon skill. And then, like I said, you wouldn't have these early on in the game, so you would do concentration and just probably max MP. But once you get access to conserve RT, that is like... The wizard's staple that should like always be on them. Basically, your your next spell will not cost any recovery time, which means your turn will come faster. One of the best, I say, skills in the game. So always have that on. And engulf's nice for AOE attacks or attacks that have, you know, an area of effect. So that's why I have that because, like I said, I have three of these, and these are just to round out. I mean, I could have put ice or water in these two. It doesn't really. They're just there. I mean, I'm prioritizing these. Now, another thing that a lot of people might not know you can do with the wizard is make a debuff wizard. So my enchantress here, which is a wizard, just a female, is debuffatized. Now, what do you mean? Well, they don't have any spells that are offensive. They just have all the debuffs. So we got charm, we got sleep, we got poison cloud, and we got paralytic wave. Now, poison cloud being an area and paralytic wave being an area would benefit from engulf at least in my experience they have if it procs so that's nice to get a bigger range of an aoe out and then i do have conserve rt on this one as well and then i also have concentration because concentration spell strike gives increased accuracy and accuracy is very important when it comes to your chance for your debuffs to hit you know you want to make sure your debuff is accurate as possible so that way you get the debuff. Really simple, right? Yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. And you're not going to have access to, concert, you know, the same thing, conserve RT and engulf, so what you're going to throw on, probably MP, Matt, whoop, max MP and probably a weapon if you want. And this is a really good setup. This is great for bosses uh, in units that are giving you a hard time. If you can disable them with sleep or disable them with charm or you know there's a group together and you want to get poison poison is so strong in this game it is probably it's top three like status effects in my opinion like it's it's that good like because it scales over it, it just scales with level like it's never you know like in the beginning it only ticks for like let's say i don't know we'll just say like 10 hit points or 50 well later on you're hitting for like 200 hit points every time it procs 300 hit points every time it procs you know and that unit that has 2.5 3k hp they're feeling it you know you're hitting them for oh man it's so nice and then paralytic way is also another good thing to stop a unit that might hit really hard or a unit that's 
pretty beefy that you don't want to, you know, clobber your squishies and stuff. So, you know, very nice, very, very versatile. These are two different types of the same class, and they're both very viable. You know, you could get into some more funky stuff, but, I mean, I find these two to be the main ways to kind of do, like, a wizard enchantress. Then, obviously, you know, you want wizard gear that's giving you all the good stuff. Make sure, make sure, like, in this situation, the birds are, the birds agree. I have a sticker and a mage staff. Now, I'm not gaining the statuses of this mage staff. I made a whole video really recently on this topic but basically anything in your offhand you don't gain the stats you gain like you don't even gain the spell range i'm not even gaining the spell range so what i'm gonna want to do is i want to swap these so we're gonna put the mage staff where it's supposed to be oh mage staff boink and then we're gonna put the sticker back here now, why do I have a sticker on this guy? Well, I have a sticker for one reason only. Now, as you can see, I gained so many stats from that. Here. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Ready, ready, ready? Let's, re let's remove this. Let's remove this. Because these stats were not working. Because I was a fool. Now. Let's go to my hand. <laughs> I'm delusional. I'm gaining five int, two mind. Perfect. Good. And I get the spell range. See? Beautiful. Not as much as I thought, but yeah, so uh, I got a whole video about this, but just make sure that your offhand weapon isn't important at all. It doesn't do anything. The stats do not count. If it's a shield, it does, but anything else does not. Yeah, I can attack with this at close range, and I do get the effect of parry, but I do not get any of the stats that appear on the far right side, and generally, that's kind of why you equip a weapon. And plus, if there's like spell range in here... You don't get that, so obviously I want it up here so I get the spell range. But anyway, that's a whole other topic. Just just a heads up, you know, and maybe the same thing with this person. Oh, no, they just got a dagger and a, and a buckler. They're crazy. Probably should, I probably should swap this out give them spell range. I don't know why I didn't do that for you. Why didn't I do that? I guess I haven't used this character in a long time. But yeah, the buckler will count. You will get that stuff. So, anyway, just two quick little, uh, little builds on the wizard enchantress. Kind of help out new players, help out people. Like I said, these builds are going to be viable through the whole game because you start with this class. This class is very useful. Might get outclassed by some later spellcasters, but that's way down the line. You don't got to worry about that, like Warlock, Lich, Necromancer, all that stuff. But I wouldn't even worry. Shaman, you know, eh. don't even worry about it. You can still make a wizard work. Wizard's still wonderful. It's a great class, and I think it's always useful. So thank you guys so much for watching. You got any questions or comments, please drop them down below. I'd love to help out other new players, answer some questions they have or just chat with you guys. I try to read every comment and respond to every comment. So again, thank you guys so much for all your love and support with these videos. You guys are awesome. And until then, I will see you on the next one. Later, guys. Peace.